Hi, um... Hello, Max. Hi, Miles. Good to see you back in yeah, Devices. Nice to see you. How are you? We're in a post-disclosure situation since yes. the last time you've talked, and briefly, that means that MI6 agent, a retiring MI6 agent called Peter Paget, declared in public at the Warminster thing in August last year mm -hmm. that the whole UFO thing is real. Right. Right. And uh, but he's only allowed to say it to no more than about 150 people, so he kept within the rules. But one of the things he said is what we've about the whole ET thing. He went into a great deal of detail, was the structure of the way the planet is run, and he explained mm -hmm. how that went and the pyramid sort of structure. But mm -hmm. there are other levels of control of others above. Also suggested there was going to be a change in that situation. Okay. So you're able to talk a lot about the details and the various meanings of things. Yeah. Yes. So what, what, what I can, what I can, t I, I'm, what I can talk to you about is um, the unfolding of it um, here, and how how it's reflected throughout society, and how uh, I, I don't I don't have the specifics on the detail of the hierarchy of the ET hierarchy, but I do know that there's been an exchange. There's been exchange over of power. If if you want to say that the the An the Anunnaki, as 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 we know them, the Anunnaki has been sort of um, the head or in control of this 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 planet, and sort of like finalizing details. But it, it's been it was handed to them, so they were they they were never at the top. They were never at the top anyway. So it was the Orion. The, the, the I'm, I'm going to use the word queens. The Orion, f f the Orion um, feminine energy from the Orion. Um, this, they're called the Orion group. This, the, the, the this Orion is also system. echoed by Stuart Sferdlow, who essentially said one lot of is going to. There's go a handover. There's hand. a shift. Yeah, yeah. but well, because it, they, so so um, they were they, maybe what you could call at least they were leasing it, they were leasing the, the, the control of the planet for a certain amount of time from this, this other consciousness. Now they have to give it back. Now, this was discussed at the Secret Spe a Space Program Conference near Austin in Texas. Okay, I didn't know that. And they mentioned about contracts. Mm. If mm. humanity was able to get its act together mm. and renegotiate the lease, right. so right. to speak, we could then control our own domain. We've handed over our power, though. We've handed over our power to these people um, for the longest time, anyway. So it's not. It's. The, I don't think it's. It's really in our hands to be able to negotiate anything very much if we've handed over our power to them. Um, uh, it's about um, understanding why why we did that in the first place and understanding how this reality is created and built. And having an understanding of that, and understanding that the subconscious is what creates this reality. The reason why I'm suggesting this yeah. about this handover of power, hmm. because um, and about the lease that you're talking about, is the ba there's a premise, there's a there's a possibility at this time. Mm -hmm. Whether it's it is a possibility, not another one or not, but we could essentially take control of the situation before the next lot get back in. Right now, I'd gone into talking about the reality and yes. how reality is yeah. being made, and that's sort of my where I'm, okay. where I'm at to talk about. So, um, in terms of that, um, uh, so if reality is being made through the subconscious, and again, the subconscious has been hijacked, okay, so then um, this is basically what's been done. So, they have created thought prisons throughout, um, throughout all of our time. So, thought prisons being philosophical thought prisons or religious thought prisons or um, any, any, any of the ones, any of the, any of the ones that are like that. They don't mind which one you buy into as long as you buy into one of them yeah. and give it full wholeheartedly, give your whole heart into it. Because essentially, like I've been trying to work on at the moment and explain that this is a, a war on the human heart. And Earth is the, the final part of multiple other planets that have been, this has been done to, and, and Earth is the heart, the heart center place. So they're trying to take control of the, the Earth because it's the heart. And um, by the way to do that is attack innocence. And uh, the first thing you're going to do if you're going to take over a planet is you want to take away the, the, the strongest male energy. Yeah. Um, so that's been done very calculatedly, especially over the, the 20th century, with the um, inversion, 
the inversion of the original Baphomet. Um, the, the original Baphomet, I think we were talking to you about this earlier, wasn't a, an androgynous goat of Mendes pointing as above, so below like that at all. But um, Eliphas Levi then created this goat um, to uh, show what, a what it would be to, to uh, externally create a male and female in one body, to have an androgynous um, a being that way. And I think I've talked about the Mona Lisa being sort of the same thing. Well, it never made any sense to me why that particular picture or that particular painting was the most famous painting in the world. Why, why, yes, why it's, it's, not, the, it's not a fantastic painting. Yeah, that's the mystery about why is it a mystery. And, so, so, and then so you have Mo, Mona, and the, in Freemasonry they use the word Mona a lot because it's Ammon, it's an anagram for Ammon. And then Lisa, or it would be, uh, in Italian it would be El Isa, which is Isis. So it's like the union of Ammon Ra and Isis into one body. That's what the baf that's what that ba the Baphomet is. That they the goat that particular the goat that they're always showing that imagery that Eliphas Levi painted and created. So um, to take they need to to, to to take out the planet first of all they need to um, take away the strong males of the planet. And so there's an, a massive push and a surge to emasculate the males on this planet. And um, it's, it's, very, it's a very touchy subject because you can't really go too far with it without being called a bigot or without being called... Well, it's uh, a bit like the Jew term. That yeah. Immediately triggers... You're, well, you're immediately immediate, condemned yeah. if, you, if you say anything if you, uh, that goes against kind of the mainstream thought of that. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm being careful, and I, I don't, I'm not prejudiced in any way. But there is quite clearly an agenda going on with that, and the the uh, the Jenna story, um, which with show, showing the showing that they could, right in front of our eyes, take a, a gold medal Olympic athlete, and then turn him into a female, was also embedding into the subconscious that. Um, look what we can do, look what we yeah. can do to you if we want to. It's like the Monarch program, the, the first model they used, one of America's finest model ladies and they and mind controlled her in, 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 in the Monarch. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Well, they they can take the finest and the best of what you've got. And we yeah, can just they, they, exactly that, exactly that. And then the, that's, I mean, that's quite clearly an agenda for anyone who's sort of got, got their eyes open to see that. Um, so, uh, Talking about the man, talking about ta that. If you're if you're trying to attack the human heart, and you're trying to finish the that. That's the earth is the heart, and our connection to the earth. All the human beings on on the earth are connected to the heart. Um, and the attack on 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 children and the 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 uh, the pedophile rings that are that are attached to um, all the things that are going on at the moment are to do with attacking the innocence of, of human beings. And these, a lot of these children's homes are on energy lines, so right. the trauma from the, the, what those children go through well, they, they, is they're ingested they're into the Earth's they're energetic they're Yeah, and so, so all of the, it's, it's, a, it's an inversion of all the sacred geometrical, um, the, natural sacred, the natural creative sacred geometrical patterns have been inverted. So all the Gothic cathedrals, um, all of the the sort of main buildings, all of the architecture, you know, architecture goes back to masonry as well. They have all the grid lines, they have the maps, and they have all the information for all the grid lines all over the planet. So they, they've been doing that, and they've managed to, uh, not just the, I mean, because we, we tend to think of all the, the, the old, you know, the old Gothic uh, uh, buildings being the ones that are, Sacred, sacredly geometrically built, but all the modern stuff is as well. It's yeah. just it's unseen. It's not as not as clear. Um, when you walk into a cathedral, you quite clearly see that it's there. But it's also with the modern buildings, it's the same way. Um, so yeah, so they're inverting. I was um, in, in addition to this. So with their slow, they can't um, implement this. You know, they can't put this all into into play like I immediately. Has to be done in a, like a drip, drip slowly, slowly push it, put it into place, because otherwise people would revolt against it. But um, slowly they've been being able to um, increase the amount of vileness in in like mainstream television. Slowly um, with uh, creating uh, animated television that is told. We're told that it was created for for adults, like South Park or like. Um, Family Guy, we're told these are adult 
shows but you know anytime you're going to have a, an animated show you they know that children are going to be drawn to it yeah. especially with South Park when it's being based around children um, uh, so the children are watching the, the most unbelievably vile things and that's an attempt again to it's, it's one of the side arms of taking away the innocence taking away the innocence because heart the core heart is innocent uh, uh, Christine Joanna Hart who you've been on a show mm. her she's mentioned about her child mm. And about the kind of books that they're being read, that they have to read as part of their education course. Yeah. It has slaughter and yeah, yeah, blood and all sorts of horrendous things. Yeah. And, this is, and this is dismissed as just, oh, this is an award-winning author. You should be reading it. But this is for children, not you know. This is for young yeah. children. You want to keep an eye on who's writing the children's books, and um, you know you see a lot of celebrities writing children's books. I'm not going to name any names, but you can go and look around and find that, that um, well, Mad I don't name one, Madonna has written a number of children's books. There are other, there are others too, I mean, like, it's kind of, it's, it's out there pretty much that Madonna is um, a high priestess and she's, she, it's very clear if you watch any of her perform, or number of her performances at the, um, any of the big shows that she's doing ritualistic work, she's doing that, and she's writing children's books because they want to get to children, because children is the raw innocence. They're not so much interested in the later years because you've sort of already adapted your thought patterns and your thought prisons. You've already sort of dealt with that. They, you, you already dealt with, so they don't need, they're not interested. So they're always going after the children. Um, they're, 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 they're increasingly sort of, the children's books are increasingly d vile. And I'll bring up Roald Dahl, and I remember being Roald, read Roald Dahl when I was a kid, and um, Roald Dahl, um, I was always like fascinated by his, his stories, and they are quite brilliant, but they also are quite vile as well. And Roald Dahl was um, an MI6 agent and uh, worked with... Ian Fleming? Ian F with, with F F Crowley, Fleming and Dahl and Churchill actually all worked together but I know but to, uh, and on this uh, this particular thing Dahl was working with Fleming and um, uh, he I, I think I, there w there is a um, Parkinson interview where he opened I found a Parkinson interview where he openly said he was working for MI6 during the Second World War that's the only time that it's out there so he is an insider, so, so you know, throughout his books, he will um, put truths, because that's what they tend to do. They always want to tell you what they're doing. They'll always tell you in one way or another what they're doing or how they're going to do it, because there's sort of, that's part of the contract as well. It's part of the thing. If, if they tell you what they're doing and you're not smart enough to pick it up, then they can get away with it karmically. It's sort of a way, a loophole in, in the karmic law, that if we, if they, if we tell you, if they tell you, and you don't do anything about it, then more for you. Yes, this is a fundamental principle of what we're giving up. How I give, we give Absolutely. our permissions away. Absolutely, the, the idea is to pull those permissions back. Yes, yeah, yeah, and and definitely, Dahl is definitely an interesting one to to look into. You could do a, um, a whole uh, uh, talk on on Roald Dahl, Ian Fleming, and Crowley just in and of itself. Um, anyway, uh, so so. Fleming was also an insider, an MI6 insider, and so you have throughout, peppered throughout all the the, the Bond movies, which were uh, which uh, Broccoli Albert, uh, I don't know, out the Broccoli the bro family yeah. family funded. They're the money behind it. So nothing. Go I think Albert. I think his name's Albert. Nothing gets through at all unless he he sees everything. He's like the final. He sees the final cut of everything. So you know the Broccoli family are a military intelligence family as well, connected to through uh, the Second World War. This is all Project Paperclip stuff, and Dahl is connected to Paperclip and um, uh, connected to CIA as well. Um, so anyway, so going back to Dahl's books and going back to children's books and how significant they are. So if you're reading those, if you're reading those stories to children, and they're layered with subconscious imagery, subconscious letters then um, that's going to be embedded within the child and then you know they c this particular consciousness that is doing this here is is purely and simply a vampiric consciousness it's it doesn't have a central core energy to feed itself it has to take from others it doesn't naturally understand what giving is it has to take from other other beings 
that's how it works so um, this this false reality that's manifested and created here is done by um, embedding images and sounds and, and ideas into the ch into children's minds and then you, you grow up uh, having and thinking that you know go also textbooks you know like we were saying with children's textbooks they that's you're given what the fundamental ideas of what what we're told history is and what we how we're told the world is and then that is then put to the conscious mind and then so we believe it to be so then we manifest a false reality so we're living out a reality that really um, wouldn't be what we isn't our natural state at all so that it's we're kept in a in a sort of a anytime a child reads something that that is that is vile it, it may want to come back and see it again because children have that sort of that need but um, or that desire to like look at something they're not supposed to but it does give them a, like a traumatized reaction and that traumatized reaction that energy from that traumatized reaction can then be harvested um, uh, that, that works as well through um, excuse me uh, the 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 movies the, the the horror movies that are coming out now like I used to think the horror movies from the 70s the Italian horror movies were the seven from the 70s were the most like intense and the most gruesome that, that, that you could be but they've they've taken it a step further with the with the extreme nature of like the saw movies and like those movies all the movie theaters themselves are also built on energy grid points uh, that so to harvest the energy from from the fear of the people watching the movies. So the whole thing like, set up. Y yeah, yeah, to make sure because fear energy, they, they fear energy is the best um, energy for them to then take and then go and create to, the, to, to, to create the false reality. They don't understand the love energy. They don't understand it. They, so the, their mentality is to conquer and destroy and it's always about um, self-preservation conquering and destroying they don't care they don't take care of it. this particular consciousness doesn't take care of its young if it's if, if it's young or weakened it discards them and throws them away the mammalian consciousness feeds its young and nurtures its young takes care of it whereas they so that then that ma that that manifests how they are um, as adults as well. They, they have no time for anybody who's weak or anybody who has uh, a, d a disability or anybody so, you know, who is um, physically less than. They, they think that as a, um, a weakness in the gene pool and would rather have that wiped out. That's a very, that's a very um, primal, primordial... It's like the Spartans. Prim yeah, the, the way the Spartans leave the yeah, children out. And yeah, yeah. If they die, they die. Yeah, because that con that but then and you know that consciousness wants to it it knows very very well how to uh, keep going and surviving uh, as far down. If it's trying to win, if it's trying to win, it's trying to defeat. It's trying to defeat what the heart. Okay, this is this this whole plane, this whole war here on this particular planet, not other planets, but this planet. This whole war is about taking out the heart completely and so it's it, it's about survival the human is about the heart and yeah so so yeah the Spartans would leave out their their children and, and the one the ten children and then if two survived then they would take those two and then they would be stronger because you know but then that's not there's no you know obviously there's no that's that's taking out empathy out of the equation or, or compassion out of the equation um, because but they don't have this that. this loving awareness thing that some people mm. used, and the, and the all you need is love slogan from the 60s. Right, right. Uh, I mean, is that to counter that or what? Or? Um, I, I think that the, the, the 60s was infiltrated, the 60s movement, there was a consciousness movement that happened in the 60s for sure, and I think that there was a sort of an injection of, uh, I'm using that term injection, there was, there was, there was a, an infusion of souls, uh, volunteer souls that came in the 50s and 60s who were perhaps born in the 50s that were growing up in the 60s and early 70s that were here to try and change things and it was very very quickly um, infiltrated by Leary and others like him um, and, and with the tune in and drop out consciousness and they, you know they wanted to definitely get LSD involved they definitely wanted to get LSD involved because um, 
it's a synthetic form of hallucinogenic, you know, and, and, and it, it, all the, the ayahuasca experiences and other uh, like natural hallucinogenic experiences, you know, it's, 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 it's questionable whether they can be beneficial. I think sometimes they can be beneficial, sometimes they can open your third eye and, and you can see things that other times they can cause massive massive harm to people and, and they yeah. that can cause that could cause trauma that then affects them I think for the rest of their lives but LSD being um, uh, synthetic you it, it's not it's not I, I, it's not so good it's not so good so they need they use you know they use the Beatles which is a Tav Tavistock creation to then make sure you know to inject Lucy in the sky with diamonds and um, you know the transit which is LSD initials uh, they were in they were getting people to do that you know, and then manipulating. So you you know, if if you get a, a large number of people doing LSD, and then you've also got, got control of, uh, you know, with the thought prisons that were around at the time, the different um, that's the new age philosophies. Stuff. Yeah, well, the new age stuff sort of began when sort of perhaps maybe the new age movement as it stands now sort of began at the the end of the eighties. Maybe oh, I thought it was a lot earlier. The new, is, is that what, not a hippie thing? Is that I don't think that the, the uh, uh, maybe maybe what you think new age is hippie. I think perhaps it might be different. I don't, maybe yeah. maybe maybe new age is hippie. Well, then. okay, let's say it's, let's say it is. Maybe it began in the sixties. They might be wrong. But we yeah. certainly yeah. ended and hijacked at the Altamont concert at the, with the Rolling Stones with the ritual killing. Um, with the you know the Rolling Stones are um, are uh, satanic. Band. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't like some Stone songs as they do, but um, I know that what that there's an agenda behind it, and I know that the out the death of uh, and I've forgotten the name of the person that died at the Altamont, the, uh, Altamont, but it was 1969. Yeah, and that was the sort of end, and then you know and they wrote the the it was protected by the Hell's Angels, which are a Masonic order. Absolutely, yeah, and they were the, the Hell's Angels had to be there for the ritual to be uh, correct. They had to have those that you know, and sort of hell's angels is a is sort of a double bind in in, in and of itself, isn't it really? Because you sort of wouldn't have angels in hell, would yeah, you? Yeah. So the, the, even even the word hell, even the the term hell's angel, is a uh, um, could could be a, is a trigger word, is a trigger word in and of its or trigger words in and of itself. Any double bind is any time you put a um, two opposing thoughts or thought ideas into one. Into one sort of term, you 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 trigger you can trigger somebody with it. So where are we at, Miles? We're we're at uh, the control of the the planet by yeah. and how the whole media industry, the whole entertainment yeah, industry yeah, is yeah, full yeah. of this, this pedophile stuff. So so I the, mean, as we speak, there's a huge report that's about the Jimmy Savile thing going through. Yeah, and also the um, another subject which we just discussed was um, a gentleman called Aquino. Do you want to have to say anything about that? Well, um, I uh, I don't I don't know I don't know enough about really to go into into too much deal, of, deal you know, to tell you too much about him. Yeah. I just because you know it, there's legal implications to do with that because he was involved in a legal trial and I you know I don't I I'd rather sort of let the people who know about that specifically like I think you probably go to Douglas Dietrich for for information yeah. on. Um, Mr. Mr. Aquino, but um, there's certainly uh, um, you, if you just pull pull the covers back a little bit, you'll find massive connections to the Temple of Set, the Church of Satan, um, and they're all they're all interconnected, and they're trying to they they're, they're trying to bring about they're playing out a storyline. They're playing out. They're, they use they use revel they're using revelations from the Bible as a storyline as a storybook. And they're trying to sort of man. That's why that's the most embedded book, and, you know. And King James altered it and changed it around and and inverted all of True Christ's teachings. True Christ's teachings weren't weren't really anything to do with most of the stuff that's written in there. The the like the core of Christ teach, Christ's teachings were about compassion and and caring about other people and not about. Um, well, you have a vengeful God and all that. All the Old Testament stuff, yeah. I mean, that's Anu. All of the Old Testament is basically, you know, Anu and his and his crew, who um, like to Anu and his people like to imitate. They come down here and imitate others and pretend to be um, uh, things that they aren't. And so, what about uh, these gods which have all come to earth? 
Okay, so why so, why now? Okay, and so why why do they have to these gods? Why must they be in human bodies? What? There is because this particular cha changeover and this tra this transfer point has never happened before. Has never happened like this before. Well, there are multiple cycles that are coming to an end. Yeah. There are multiple. There, there's a three thousand six hundred year cycle that's coming to an end. There's there, I think there's a thirteen thousand year cycle that's coming to an end. Um, I think there's a twenty-five and a half thousand year cycle that's coming to an end. So they're on. They're all coming to an end at this point. And so there, there was sort of a a, a, a a need to come down and experience this changeover in a physical body down here now, because the experience to be in a physical body now and go through this changeover is like nothing else that's ever been that's ever happened. Before. Why is that important? What's the well, because it's going, it, it's going from uh, a, a race, a, grow, a, a, a species, a growing species is going from um, being completely in the dark to then all of a sudden being uh, completely knowing and understanding what's, been, what's gone on with them. And, you know, and this is the planet of amnesia and so you know, nobody, everyone's walking around not knowing who really who they are. So um, to experience going from not knowing to knowing um, is a, is a massive. Uh, it, it is like it is like nothing else. What is it that we were that we've forgotten? Um, well, that or that is that a contradiction in terms. No, no, no. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Um, uh, so, so, who well, you said amnesia? So who, yeah, who we've got a we? planet of am amnesia yeah. where where this is some kind of place where we're all captured. There's lots of different races here. It's not everybody on this planet is amnesia. So, uh, is in amnesia. So this 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 vampiric consciousness that's here, that's in control of it, um, are coming here with memories. They're coming down here with memories. There's an interesting analogy that somebody said to me before and I, and, uh, I sort of elaborated on it a little bit. It's almost like it's a um, uh, holographic, very, very, very real video game where they came down and they had the rule books and all the cheats and we were left and scattered across the planet yeah. with nothing. So they're holding the cheat book. They have the cheat book. So they're coming here with previous memories of lifetimes. So they this so they built the great work the great work of ages that they all talk about and they're all that the Masons are all so so glee and, and uh, so happy about that they want to complete is putting the capstone back on top on the top of the pyramid. And replacing the capstone on the pyramid would be meaning um, that they had complete control of the human heart and this planet. Um, that uh, isn't going to happen. That isn't going to happen. Um, all the groundwork and all the work has already been done to stop that from happening. But um, so we're now just going to sort of play it out, and it's going to unfold. Um, so so people are, here have already chosen. If if they uh, want, haven't learned the lessons or they haven't uh, fully understood the the what the lessons to be learned in 3D master-slave dualistic reality then they will go to another frequency or a similar type of plane as this one and redo the life cycle lessons over and over again if uh, the ones that are because I believe that w the ones that are going to be left here are going to be the ones to build the new paradigm and the new paradigm is going to be built with an understanding and an acceptance of of each other where where it's not about um, it, it, it's about it will be about where they'll be will understand that that harming um, somebody else or attempting to harm somebody else because you'll have an intrinsic understanding that the other person is actually you you wouldn't want to go and harm them because you'd know you'd be harming yourself um, and so that 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 will the people that are left to build that here will so so what essentially whatever you think of yourself whatever you believe, you know, you, think you're, you are the imagination of yourself, I'm definitely sure of that. I'm definitely sure what you feel about you, you will sort of manifest outwardly to, to other people. And um, so, yeah, so that's... Is that the whole trick? Is that because we're able to manifest? And they can't manifest. And if they get us, they're going to get us to manifest For ourselves them. out of existence so they can have the planet. Y um, well, they want no because they need us as batteries. Remember, because because they can't build. They're not. They. It's funny. They call themselves. They call themselves builders. You know, because Freemasons or masonry is, it means building or architecture, and it's ironic really because they can't build. 
they're the ones who can't. The, the ones who, who can build, who do the building, that's probably one of their cosmic jokes again. The ones who can build are the ones who we're using us to build for them because they don't have a central court to build. Um, so that I wouldn't think that they would, if, you know, I think every possible, every single possible reality is played out. Every single possible thing, um, even a, a, you know, a reality where uh, this chair was a different color or where you didn't have turkey for uh, uh, lunch. Every single possibility is played out. So in, a, in the reality that, that's played out where, where they do win, and where, that, where the, they, they, they're victorious, um, they would have a slave race that was an androgynous slave race, um, uh, probably kept down to a lot less people on the planet than there are now. They would probably keep keep. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't I mean, know. This I, seems there's, to be happening now. The androgynous. Yeah, thing. yeah. It sort of does. It sort of does, and they sort of are doing that. But it's not. But they haven't done it completely because there are still there are there are still warriors on this planet who are standing up and speaking and fighting back and, and doing something. So they haven't. You know, they they, they are trying to do it, and they, it seems like they're getting closer to it. But they they I mean they control they completely control the media in every way. So you know how do I really know that what they put on the television is really what's going on? I don't know any if any of that's yeah. true. I don't I don't really know if 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 you know that's a bit like Wag the Dog that movie that, that De Niro and Hoffman did. You know where it's all you know the news media where they show you know that they show what everything that they show is just literally to sway the mind or the public opinion into whatever direction they want to. Well in the United States have now made it legal for news to be completely fictional, fictional. not that it wasn't fictional in the first place. I don't expect They've actually it, yeah. a lot you can actually lie on American news legally. <laughs> you can have a fictional story to not no basis in re reality. On a, on a, on a, on a on network, official, on a network, yeah, yeah, on a network mainstream. Okay, well, so that that sort of go, ties in with the blurring of the lines of everything, doesn't it? Because you know they want to blur the lines of everything so that there's confusion. And so, so uh, I think I said before, like the, one of their mottos, the Masonic mottos, is "Ordo ab chao," which is order out of chaos. And so what they want to do is create literally as much chaos by blurring the lines of everything, whether so it's sexuality or whatever, so that then they can implement their new world, you know, new world system. So when we have people that have contempt for government, contempt for major broadcasters and the and the press, it's it's actually they want that. They want that. Uh, yeah, and I do. And I of, yeah, of authority. and so you know, with the Savile thing was really, really you know significant in in pointing in the direction of going, you know. Because Prince Charles had so many connections to Savile, and and you know, there's very clear royal ties to Savile, very, very, you know, very clear. So you know, it's 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 becoming clearer and clearer that perhaps you know the royal family, you know, maybe may you know may even to the common you know regular person that that maybe that they are involved. So I would wouldn't be surprised if they used all of those as fall guys. And they used all of these people that we have grown up with, seeing and idolized. That's also another attack on the heart, too. Yeah. You know, we grew up uh, idolizing these people and thinking they were just, you know, fantastic and 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 loving them, loving them, falling in love with them. We fall in love with our movie stars. We fall in love with the people we that we see on television every day. And then it was it was set up that in that twenty years later. That that we're being told that they sexually abuse children, that's a heartbreak in itself. Yes, and I think that was calculated in and of itself to do that. So they can use all these people as fall guys, and then they can say, "Look, you know, we rounded all the all the bad guys have actually, in fact, you know, they've all gone. We they're all they're all fallen, and we've got them all. Or I don't know who's going to yeah. do that, but and then." So then, let's implement, you know, a new system, which is a centralized system. So none of this can ever, none of this will ever happen again. Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah. So who who are the fall guys? The fall, I mean, the fall er, guys. Erwin calls them the second degrees. They're right. all expendable, but they don't. Yeah, think they, they are, are all. Ex I I would say they don't know they are. But remember, this this consciousness is the ultimate double crossing consciousness. That what they say they are, what they say they do the opposite of. They're the ultimate manipulative. Serpentine consciousness. 
Um, yeah, so, so, so... What does that mean, serpentine? Do they actually, are they actually serpents? Um, or what, or well, Draco or whatever? What? I mean, that's going into the hierarchy, the, the ET hierarchy. Um, I think that... Um, so I mean that, so so the we, we all have a reptilian brain or an R complex, um, the amygdala brain, and they seem to be working sp just through that part of the brain. So there's the neo mammalian brain, which is the the, the, the compassion and an empathic brain. And there's the reptilian brain. Could that mean that because they w work through that part of the brain so much that they would they could appear to be it, as and it have physical DNA of reptilian DNA look that way I don't see why not I don't see why that that would that seems so outrageous yes so that's that very possibly could be but remember they're working through that part of the brain so anybody who wants to study the amygdala brain or the reptilian brain then you will know what they're like uh, and they're double crosses and they're liars and they're two-faced and um, uh, they are survival oriented um, and yeah, I mean, uh, uh, obsessive compulsive, um, um, might is right. Um, it, it's definitely worth looking into the amygdala brain, and that's what they work through primarily. So could they have could they have scales? Could they absolutely? Why, that, yeah, why why not? I think if you are the imagination of yourself, and they are that, and I believe that, and the, then then yes, definitely. I think that this is coming from the, like I said, the Orion, the Orion group. That area of the uh, galaxy is they're, they're um, sort of dinosaur-looking, sort of being, like literally like dinosaur, saurian-looking beings. So where is Max uh, going these days? What, what, what's your interests? What, what's plans? Okay, so, so what, what am I doing? I'm working very much on solutions and trying to preserve um, the human heart and trying to find out or trying to work with others who are also doing that and you know there's all there's all this military intelligence connections and there really really are and there's lots of that and I, the, uh, you know the, uh, I could talk for hours on that on that type of stuff but I, I've been trying to um, uh, go to a more solution oriented sort of yeah. place so that rather can, than fear, uh, and rather than hammering more fear, because then more fear places, fear is what they do. So maybe maybe try something that opposes what they're doing. You know. Um, so where am I headed? I'm uh, doing that. I'm I'm trying to. Um, uh, what I wanted to, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a group together of people who have been through these uh, MK projects, which in the 70s and 80s, which, um, which I know a number of people who went through these MK projects in the 70s and 80s, and have it so that uh, anybody else who'd gone through that, could, there could be a support network or a support, you know, where, where somebody could come and they wouldn't feel um, uh, completely isolated and, and, you know, because most of us don't survive those things. 99.999% don't survive. And the ones who do survive um, sort, of, sort of left out in the cold, so to speak, you know, and, and their stories are sort of pushed aside as, as crazy and insane. And, and um, this really does go on, you know. These There's an awful lot of people coming forward with this stuff. And yeah, and it's fantastic. It, 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 and the the paedophilia is one thing, but these ritual child killings. Is just yeah, I mean, um, satanic um, SRA, satanic ritual abuse, is, um, you know, is, is, is a part of, you know, a lot of people's stories, and there's also there's the 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 um, American Psych, Psych Association have even set up a group to counter this to shut people sh shut people down who are coming out and saying this stuff. Oh, because there's so many to, yeah specific group to shut that down. Not to help them, but just to get, to get yeah to shut yeah to shut, because because but why that means it must be involved. Right. Well, of course it is. Yeah. Definitely is, um, uh, and that's not meaning that everybody who's in like it with any of these fields. That's not meaning that everybody who, who's involved with it, with that particular field, is uh, um, doing those things. But at the, the high, highest levels, you know, it does work in a pyramid structure, and at the top, they they are doing that. They definitely are doing that, um, and uh, you know, it's just the, there's more and more names coming out now that are just bizarre. 
uh, that, that you would never, never have expected. And the thing is that to definitely look out for is they're going to make your heroes look like uh, it was set up 20, 30, 40 years ago to layer these heroes into your hearts and then now in this present day tell you that they've, they're actually this, that or the other uh, child Which child is of course killers. been happening for the last year or two. And people don't want to accept it yeah. either. They don't want to accept that, so that's the truth. So a lot still won't accept it when they hear, even when they, you know, that their Savile is, is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this stuff. I mean, speaking to a new, uh, a young social worker, and she just is amazed that the scale of the paedophilia is absolutely massive. Yeah, and they all cover each other's backs too. They all, so they all, th they all take care of one another. So it's like, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, they're, they're, they're very, very uh, careful to protect one another. Because they, that, that, it's not really about, it's not really about sexuality, it's about energy. It's about taking the innocence, it's about harming the heart, and it's about taking the, the innocence, the, the energy, because that gives them, to stealing that energy then gives them uh, the energy they need to go and build or do and create whatever they want to create. So it's, it's, it's actually sort of a, outside of a sexuality thing almost. But uh, however the victims are... Uh, exactly, yeah. right. The, the, right. And we, we do have somebody who hope is going to come to this country from Canada. She's uh, targeting the... try to heal people, teach healers to, or therapists to try and heal. To, for, the, this, for that specific yeah, thing. With yeah. The, yeah, and, that, and so I, am, I, I, I wrote a post on Facebook and, and, and you know, there's people that know me on Facebook and um, people are welcome to, do, to you know, speak to me about that. But I want to start a support group for people who've been through... Um, any of the, uh, the you know, mon Monarch is only one, you know, that's beta, that's beta, you know, like sex uh, kitten sort of control, but there's Delta, can, there's Delta mind control, and there's all the whole number of other ones that, you know, children have been through, and there, there's no, I don't see any support groups for it anywhere. Yeah. Go look on the internet, you won't find any support groups. Well, we tried to get that. one going earlier last, a couple of years ago, but that, 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 that sort of went crash yeah, downy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm going to, I will do, you know, I'm going to do Christine Hart's uh, show, uh, and uh, again, and uh, maybe I'll bring, I'll bring that up then, about yeah. possibly putting something like that together. Um, Apart from Facebook, how do people get hold of Max Spears if they want to, um, do you want people to get hold of you? Yeah, no, definitely, I definitely want people to get hold of me. Um, the, I can give my email address, um, I, I, I'm in the process at the moment of some of, uh, of a dear, dear friend of mine is building a website for me. Um, so when that's up yeah, and done, that's, well, that's up we can, yeah. yeah. So as of as of as it stands now, um, my email address is um, yeah, I mean, I I, the, the best way to do it would be through Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just Facebook for now. It's better to leave. You don't want to get another email. I address don't really know. Yeah, yeah. That's be, be best. To okay. Do it well, that I think way. we have to catch a train. All right. So uh, all right, we'll all right. wrap this up for for okay. now and have a great show tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Thank Proving you. very controversial. Yeah. And. Uh, Heated, which is good radio, good, good, good. That's what it's all about. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Miles, for Thanks. the opportunity, though. You know, and uh, I would, I, I would, I would like to do a second part yeah. of this, if you, if you oh, additional switch this part. thing back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Okay.